We're expecting another baby. So bye. Cannot be serious. I want me to come and involve myself in this heavy yes. job. Yeah. I know. I know. Morning, guys. Just to show you something in the garage. Let me see. And you have to. Andrew. Okay, baby, talk, 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 talk. You, you do not listen when we are calling you. Go and get me blue knife. Okay. I don't think I'll. So what's the plan now? What? Oh, Let me no. understand what's no, happening. No, no, no. Hmm? Your, these your big things need to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. Let me arrange them. Mm -hmm. Your vases are in here. We need to arrange all these things into these shelves. Okay. Create room for there. I need to set up this one here okay. for the shoes. So it's to clear these ones now. It's to clear these ones here. Okay. When you come and help. Are you done? Mm. Because there's something I want to do. Oh, Are you done with all those yeah, my painting. Because oh, but all these things uh, must go out. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. oh. This thing needs to go out from there. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. oh boy, it's everywhere. Yeah, hey, it's to go away from me. This thing needs to go out from there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think I will put them today. I need them now. Uh, wait. I need them now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 There's even a shell oh, here. There's yeah. still some decor items. Uh, oh, no. No, please. Yeah. Morning to this tribe. It's 1 p.m. and this is when I'm coming downstairs. And the kids make me coffee as usual. Because for the past two days, I've not been able to really eat like the way I always breakfast in the morning. But this coffee has been a lifesaver. Thank you so much. If you want to thank you, then you can. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee, seriously. You don't understand how much I love it in the morning. Yeah, one. Just one. Okay, only one. One. Only one. Kyra, and after that, Pam Pam. You guys, let me show you Kyra's hair. This is the last time I'm ever going to braid this girl's hair like this. Like, I'm not even making, I'm not even putting extension on her hair again. Because I just, I don't know what came over me. Well, just because we're about to travel, I didn't want to have to be maintaining her hair on a daily, but this, this was a bad idea honestly bad idea i'll just try to i'm going to try to lose it hopefully by tomorrow i should be able to finish losing it then um we're going back to default mode <laughs> and the challenge now is she's starting us with this september i don't know how i'm going to be maintaining this hair like i don't know how i'm going to be giving her a good hairstyle because as much as i is still struggling to grow i still want her to look clean and neat every day she goes to school you understand so I'm going to have to think of a strategy or something that can I can always make for her that will always make her hair that will always keep her looking neat every morning. Hi guys, I just realized that I've not even given you guys a backstory. Before I came back from Durham and went out with our friends on Sunday, honestly, I've not been able to vlog. And that's because I have been so unwell. Like I just came back and all of a sudden it was like the whole thing was just waiting for us to come back from the Chinese we went to and it hit me sore throat body pains fever all sort of things and that was when i was like what is actually happening 
like what is happening i was so down like monday i just couldn't leave the bed it was tuesday that was yesterday when hobby started you know working in the garage that was i felt really guilty because everything had just been on him he was a bit unwell though but he just um for some reason he was just up on his feet because he didn't go to work monday and tuesday that's because he was not well too but i think he was somehow stronger so he was the one making food even sorting out the garage so it was a garage thing that got me really guilty i was like let me just come down at least and stay close by where they're doing what they're doing so that at least he can have someone to talk to or if i'm strong enough at some certain point i can just go in and help him so uh, honestly a lot of things have gone through my mind i just thought i should you know bring you guys up to speed that that's what has been happening your girl has been completely under the weather today has just been a better day for me and yeah i mean we thank god for life and i have a project just there staring at me deadline very close by like deadline is i think it's third of september and i can't even figure out what i'm supposed to do with it i'm just chilling then i'll go and show you guys in a bit i have not decided on what actually i'm going to be doing so this is a brand called cricot you know what let's just unbox it together let's just go ahead and unbox together then i'll tell you guys about the brand help me get the cartons just keep them here for me back to what i was telling you guys this brand is called Cricut and they've approached, they approached me before, but there's just something about me. There's how I see my, my meals, right? But on a second note, when I saw them, I just started to respond and I started to also research about them. And then I found out that they're very, very amazing company and... I need them in, I needed them in my life. <laughs> it's basically about I think their machine they have a this these are all the products they sent to me. So basically it's all about personalizing that product of yours. Like someone like me now that I've gone into branded products, I could decide to be branding my products myself with these machines. Does that make sense? Sorry, I don't I don't know why I keep saying does that make sense? because i feel like that's rude but that has become my language so you guys should just forgive me whenever i repeat that does that make sense <laughs> so um yeah so i need to actually sit down and study everything andrea you're going to help me right because yep. this is a whole lot of studying to do so i'm thinking the idea of the project i want to get involved in is since the kids are resuming school Kyra as well is also resuming nursery. Mona is resuming secondary school. I would like to, you know, personalize their Andrew. uniforms. Yeah, Android too. Andrew. I like to, yes, all of you. I like to personalize their uniform by putting their names mm -hmm. and even Kyra's lunch ba uh, lunch box. She's also going to school with lunch. But I think she's the only one that is going to school with lunch box. Yeah. Yeah. You you eat school food or school meals. So yeah. So you understand those kind of things. And then I'll go ahead to also. Mm, label most of our i want to change our spice bottles, but i think that should be a later project the project for this particular collaboration is what i'm thinking about so i'm thinking of just you know using most of their back to school things to personalize them and maybe i don't know i don't know what i can come up with but that's the angle i'm thinking okay and um well in as much as it's not a youtube collaboration it's a tiktok and um instagram collaboration but i will still carry you guys along you guys are like my family i don't i don't really care if it's a collaboration i don't mind sharing um some of these things with you guys so what is this hmm. so this is a bag i think it's for me to use some to transport most of these equipment assuming i'm going somewhere and um, i want to carry most of these things i'm guessing I'm, these are the these are the vinyl for printing or something i have no idea what i'm actually going to do but like i said i am excited to actually where's that knife okay i'm excited to actually carry out this project i mean i like things that really challenge me you know Cut 
your DIY best friend. <laughs> I'm really excited. Like I don't, I don't go for any how collaborations. Oh. I always go for collaborations oh. that will be meaningful to me and my people, like you guys. So if you're someone that um you love DIYs, you love to invent a lot of things. I even feel like at this point I need an office, honestly, because there's so many. Tara, stop it! I've even converted one of the garage cupboards to. I'm going to also show you guys what we did with the garage yesterday. We still still work in progress. We've not finished, but I will show you. So this is, I think this is the main, Tara, are you, are you farting? This is the main machine, okay? Let me put it back. Andre, you promised me we're going to study this and we're going to come up with something, including the box. is a smart cutting machine, blade, fine point pen, welcome card, power adapter, free trial membership to Cricut Access for new subscribers. Okay, so it's, um, I think it's an, you can get it on an app. Tara, wait, 50 ready to make project online. Materials for a practice course. What you need? Compatible computer or mobile service, mobile device, high speed internet connection. Okay. So yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait to show you guys what the actually what we have actually decided to do with these these stuff <laughs> these ones are going to recycle okay. uh, wait madame before you start doing your thing Whew. oh you have not hang the jacket mona you need to come and hang the jacket let me show you guys what we did in the garage so far and we're still working on it um you remember how this garage was yesterday that man called hubby he was really like he really took his time to organize this whole place so like i was telling you guys i need a in fact i might eventually need a warehouse these are all my work equipment these are my home decor pieces that i used to switch up sometimes and some of my diy stuff my paint and a lot of guys a lot of my jungs <laughs> So moving down, you can see what we did here. And we have used this shelf. We had to couple the shelf to use it to pack up some of our shoes because we operate a no shoe policy in the house. Nobody comes in with their shoes and we don't even want shoes in our room. So yeah, this is really handy. I still have a lot of my shoes <laughs> flat here, but oh God, this thing behaves yourself. I still have a lot of my flat here, but we are expecting another shelf that is going to go down here such that we are giving this out this um this grill we're giving this grill out we want to get an electric one this is so stressful and we're going to decongest this part and have another shelf here this is where we hang our jackets because you just need to open the door and grab your jacket you don't have to come into the garage before you can get your jacket so yeah that has been very handy so now the plan the major plan for this garage is to when we have when we've done when we are done shelving all this stuff because i'm selling this buggy kara doesn't want to even use a buggy again so when we're done shelving most of the things here apart from the freezer fridge and blah, 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 we will now buy colored paint to paint the floor because this floor you can see how the floor looks so by then every, a lot of things might must <laughs> by then we must have removed a lot of things from the floor such that we will now go ahead to paint the floor yeah, so that's the plan, honestly. And um, it's, it's coming along well. Not so bad. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. But so far, that is how clean this place is. I like I like that um, you can come in here and feel a bit relieved and not feel like it's completely... And not feel like it's not your house. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what, guys? I... I am feeling much better today. A lot of people have been sending me DM on Instagram telling me, oh, you're expecting another baby. And I'm like, oh, you guys should stop deceiving yourselves. There is no baby anywhere. And initially I was scared. I was really scared. I had my reservations because of some circumstances that were pointing towards that. You know, you understand what I mean? I mean pregnancy. Let me just be straightforward. So there were lots of circumstances pointing towards the fact that I could be pregnant. But thank God for pregnancy strip shower because 
last 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 we still resolve to that and after conducting a test it is negative so please i'm not even ready for another baby if it happens fine you know, i'll thank god but because of my previous experience i don't think i am ready for another baby i just feel like i should just focus on improving myself growing my brand and you know facing my family that's basically what i want for myself right now i don't want another baby i mean god has blessed me i have always wanted a baby girl and god finally gave me the baby girl why do i want to tempt him again why tempt him and he gives me another baby boy <laughs> Anyway, so please, your girl is back to her feet and back to weekly and consistent vlogs, okay? As I'm even talking now, there's another vlog. There's a vlog that's supposed to go up today and hopefully by the end, before the end of this week. No, I can't say before the end because this week is almost down. So hopefully by weekend or even Monday, another vlog should go up because I feel like I've had backlogs of vlogs I'm supposed to push out. So yes, that's the update, guys. Thank you so much for your well wishes. I felt really good being pampered these past two days, but I feel like it's over. So back to reality. That project there, looking at me, I need to sort it out. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope all of you are cool. You're fine. Getting ready to start off another school year. <laughs> okay, toodles. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. No one who has a heart as pure no.